Open your story up. Open your book up to the story we're working on, please. Totally changed the way I teach. Totally. And I've, this is my 27th year of teaching. It was the best thing I ever did. We've grown. We've learned dif different ways and different strategies to deal with each child. How can you take that and make it also a social issue that would be appropriate for their level? In 2007, we were awarded here at IUPUI in partnership with Indianapolis Public Schools a five-year National Professional Development Grant. Basically, that grant gave us $1.5 million to prepare teachers in Indianapolis Public Schools to work better with English language learners. And then we, can we wanted to help teachers shift from a whole class lecture at or tell mode of teaching to one where really students own instruction. They are participating, they're talking, they're using language and reading and writing productively, which then of course leads to greater language uh, development. What teachers quickly saw is that this is good not just for English language learners, it's really good for all of their students. We uh, totally do everything in, at a table, in cooperative groups, um, inquiry. Um, I sit at a center and sit with just a group of students. I'm not that sage on stage anymore. Um, it's I might present a topic and then let the kids go. And then I sit down and work with a group and then we'll rotate and I'll work with another group. Uh, so it's, it's totally transformed even what my classroom looks like physically. They drive the instruction um, through their questioning. Um, I may set the, set the stage for them, so to speak, but um, they take it where they want it to go. My class is about 70% ESL, but everybody benefits. You know, I mean, everyone is learning from uh, improving their reading, and uh, I think it also helps those who, who are not ESL, the cultural differences. We kind of get into that more, uh, and there's more sharing. It was fun. Good. Sure. Well, okay. and our letter book is getting accomplished. It's getting done. We're letting students be more together. in charge of their own learning. We're not letting them be receptive anymore. They're being active participants in their learning. And I think it's contagious, critical pedagogy. It's, we're seeing it, um, we have a new library that was donated by Target and the kids helped us write this grant. We have a new playground that we're getting, which the kids helped us with. Um, what else is something? We received $10,000 from the Colts, which the kids helped us you know, with Colts Day. Every kid in our school got a free coat this year. That was something that they participated in. We are, we're participating in the fruit and vegetable program. So these are all things that I think are, we've started critical pedagogy and then they've become contagious with all the staff, so. If you watch, as I do walkthroughs, the, the students or the teachers that are dealing with this program and that do this, the excitement of the kids, the level of the kids saying, oh, oh, it's time to change, let's go to this one, okay, we have to do this. It's just, it, they take on ownership to it and the teachers do as well, so it, it's been very productive for us. Our goal when starting this uh, federal grant was really to look at how we could create a professional development model that would prepare every teacher to work with English language learners. And we're used to, in the field of ESL, working with people who have interest in language. But now we're shifting our focus to every teacher, that means every math, science, uh, social studies, language arts teacher, the elementary teacher who typically would send English language learners out. We want to prepare them for working with English language learners because they actually have them 90% of the time in their classroom. So we were really setting out to say, is there a way that we could help with a professional development model every teacher be ready for English language learners? I had no idea how receptive teachers would be, how positively they would ref uh, uh, review and participate in the instructional coaching model that we've developed. And that's really been our main focus, is there's so much attention nowadays on teacher performance and are teachers any good? But the real question we should be asking is, are there professional de development models that are good? Can we show that the professional de development model leads to teacher growth? And I think we've really established that. Perfect.